In this video, we're going to be taking a look at our trig definitions that are based on a circle with radius r, so something other than a unit circle. We're going to um, give a definition here so that we can define each of these trig values. All right, so let's say for a given angle theta in standard position, we're going to let point P, which is a random point x, y, be a point on the terminal side of theta that is also on the circle where we've got x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Then we can find the six trig values functions based on these following definitions. So what I've done is I've kind of taken this and mapped it out for us. We've got a circle and it's going to have radius r, so it's definitely not a unit circle. We're going to have a point on this circle that's on the terminal side of our theta, so here's our theta. And then I've demonstrated why we have x squared plus y squared equals r squared. If I drop a perpendicular down from that point down to the x-axis here, well then that means this distance is x, this distance is y, I've got a right triangle going on here, and I have a radius of r right there to make that Pythagorean um, triple right there. So x squared plus y squared equals r squared. All right. So if I know the point, I can find the radius of that circle. If I know the radius of the circle in one of those coordinates, then I can find the other coordinate of that circle, of that point. All right. So um, these three values will be key, knowing the two points in the ordered pair and then knowing the radius as well. And if we know those three values, we can define sine of theta as y over r. Okay, and it's very much like your right triangle trig. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So y over r, cosine, x over r, tangent, y over x, and then the second three, if you write them always in this order, are always reciprocals of the first one. So cosecant theta is r over y, secant of theta is r over x, and cotangent then would be x over y. So these three being reciprocals of these. All right, these definitions also correspond to your right triangle trig because we are using the right triangle in the, inside this definition. Okay, so cosecant of theta is hypotenuse over opposite. Okay, hypotenuse over opposite. So it's just however you want to define these, what kind of definition you want to use, whether you want to call it right triangle trig and use those definitions or whether you're going to define it based on a, a, an angle in standard position with a random point on that unit circle. All right, so let's work out one example using these specific definitions here. All right, so let's suppose our directions tell us to find the exact values of each of the six trig values functions um, of an angle theta if the given point is a point on its terminal side. So I have a point here and it's on my terminal side of my angle. So I know that my x value is 4 and my y value is negative 3. Now let's go ahead and draw this out just so we can kind of visualize you know, what quadrant it's in, that sort of thing. So if I do a rough little sketch here, okay, we'll attempt to put our circle on, not a really good circle, but we get the idea. Okay, now the point 4, negative 3. All right, so 4 would be going to the right, negative 3 is going to be down here. So it would have to be in this quadrant right here. So this would be 4, negative 3, so it's in my fourth quadrant. All right, so my right triangle there that's being drawn is right there. This distance going across here is 4. This distance is negative 3. And so then I would need to find my radius r. Okay, so right triangle, Pythagorean theorem, step one, find your radius. So, step one, find radius. All right, so we're going to do that with x squared plus y squared equals r squared. All right, I know my x value is 4. I know my y value is a negative 3. And it's a matter of working out the Pythagorean theorem here. I'm going to have 16 plus a 9 equals r squared. So 25 equals r squared. That means the radius is 5. Okay, and if you know your Pythagorean triples really well, 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triple, so you might have been able to get that without actually doing the math. Okay, step 2 would then be to find those six trig functions. So step 2, find six trig functions. Okay, now if we base it on the definitions that were just given in the previous uh, definition there, then we're going to have sine of theta being 
y over r. All right, so your y value is a negative 3, and your r value is a 5, so negative 3 fifths. Okay, it's a matter of once you know x and y and r, it's a matter of just plugging them in really simply there. Um, cosine of theta, we gave as a definition of x over r. My x value is 4, and my r value is 5, so it's 4 fifths. Tangent of theta, we gave as a definition of y over x. My y is negative 3, and my x is 4, so negative 3 fourths. All right, now usually um, if you're really confident about that you've got those three correct, then you can write the other three just by taking the reciprocal of these. You can also verify with the definition, but you wouldn't have to if you know these three are right. So cosecant theta is going to be the reciprocal here, so negative 5 thirds. Secant of theta is going to be the reciprocal here, which is 5 fourths. And cotangent of theta will be the reciprocal of this one, which is negative 4 thirds. Okay, if you want to check and verify that those match with the definitions, all right, definition here should be an r over a y. My r is 5, my y is the negative 3. Whole, whole thing is negative there. All right, and this one, definition should have been r over x. r is 5, x is 4. Definition here should have been an x over y. My x value is 4. My y value is negative 3. It makes the whole entire thing negative. Okay, so um, either way you want to do it works really well. But when you are given a point that's on that terminal side, in other words, you've got a circle that's not a, a unit circle, you first have to calculate what the radius of that circle is, and then you can use your little right triangle with those definitions. Um, definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.